Daniel back at it again with the white vans. Oh, hey Rotarians, it's me, Chaz. Today, I'm going to tell you a story called The Boy Who Cried Wolf. Well, let's just get into it. Cause we don't know who we are. It'll take five days by car. Peter. Peter was an ordinary kid and lived in a village. He took care of the village's sheep. One day, Peter got bored, so he tried to teach the sheep how to, how to dance. And that didn't work out for him because sheep can't dance. Secondly, he tried to teach the sheep how to sing, but all they can say was, bah. Really, really sad. So, what Peter did, he would cup his hands to his face and say, Wolf! Wolf! There's a wolf! The villagers thought there was actually a wolf. So, the villagers climbed up the mountain, and to their surprise, Peter was laughing. So, the villagers were really, really disappointed in Peter. The villagers told him, Peter, please don't cry wolf if there's no wolf. So the villagers mumbled down, back down the mountain. The next day, Peter was really bored again, so he called a friend over. They tried to play hide and skate, but it didn't work. If Also, they tried to play tag. Still, didn't work. So, when it was afternoon, the friend, ha the friend had to go prepare supper. So Peter, again, had to say, had to shout, Wolf! Wolf! There's two wolves attacking the sheep! The villagers were startled and ran to Peter. When they, go to, when they went to Peter, Peter was laughing hysterically. Villagers were disappointed at Peter. So, they said, Peter, one more time if you lie, we won't believe it. Peter was still laughing. He didn't hear what the villagers said. So the villagers mumbled back down. The next day, Peter was bored again. So, he thought to himself, hmm, maybe I should cry wolf again. So, Peter said, wolf, wolf, there are real wolves. So, there were actually real wolves on the field. And they were eating all of the sheep one by one. So, Peter cried again, wolf, 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 please someone. The villagers ignored Peter. One villager even shouted, Peter, you're lying. We won't believe you. And he cried, please, it's a real thing. Wolf, wolf. So the villagers didn't respond. After they didn't respond to Peter, they checked to see if there were actually wolves. So they looked up the mountain. But Peter was gone because Peter ran, ran away from the wolves. But Peter came back crying. They said, what happened, Peter? And then Peter said, I cried wolf, why you didn't come? The villagers told Peter, we don't like liars. So that's why we didn't come. So please understand that we never like lies. The end. So the moral of the story is, don't have, don't have sheep. I'm just kidding. The moral of the story is, never lie. The end. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Peace. It'll take five days by car, but we don't know where.